Word on the street is the Dallas Cowboys have a clear path to the mm. Super Bowl. At least that's what I'm hearing. Why? Because for the first time in a seemingly very long time, there aren't that many competitive teams in the NFC. Competitive quarterbacks, yes. But competitive teams, mm, not necessarily. We know Aaron Rodgers lost Devontae Adams, plus the Packers, Usually they're one and done anyway. Tom Brady, as great as he is, and he's the greatest ever, he's still about to be 44 years of age. We haven't seen a repeat Super Bowl champion since 03, 04. So are the Rams really going to run it back? Kyler Murray. Good old Kyler Murray. They can't even figure out the dude's contract, at least not the language in it. So the Dallas Cowboys, they might, they just might have a clear path to the Super Bowl, at least externally. But internally, that's where I find the flaws. Dave Hellman, I'm coming to you first because outside of Jerry Jones and Steven Jones, I would submit that nobody knows more about Cowboys football than you, sir. Wow, that's mm. high praise. It is. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Well, I mean, after that intro, I feel like we need to start planning the parade. Like, just the, <laughs> the way you took that, I, I don't know, man. Do they have a clear path? They have a path in the sense that all you have to do is get to the playoffs. And before you roll your eyes at me, last year's Super Bowl was two four seeds. Cincy and, and, and L.A., for all we talk about the Rams, they were the four seed in the playoffs last year. So it is possible. But, like, when you look at it, and again, like, you, that was such a favorable breakdown. But, okay, one and, you talk about the Packers being one and done. What are the Cowboys? Mm -hmm. Cowboys haven't made a deep run in the playoffs in 25 years. Then you think about Tampa Bay, who they lost to last year. You think about the Rams, who look loaded again. Um, I still don't see the Cowboys as one of the two or three strongest teams in the NFC. So can they get to the playoffs? Can they, can they, do they have a technical path? Yes. Do I think that's likely? Not really. I'm not drinking Kool-Aid, but I am offering Kool-Aid. That may surprise <laughs> you. I'm not buying that the Dallas Cowboys, and it's not a path. You're right, Dave. It's not, it's not a clear path. It's a path. Well, actually, it's sort of a tightrope. <laughs> over fire, okay? And to your point, you have all the internal issues, okay? Dak Prescott has to be the MVP that he was the first half of the season. C.D. Lamb has to demonstrate that he can be a genuine number one receiver. The defense in Micah Parsons has to be what it was a year ago. All of those things have to happen uh, in order for the Dallas Cowboys to be competitive. But then the, ex the external. Mm. Ryan Jensen has to demonstrate that he's the Jenga piece for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and that Tom Brady is not going to be the same. Aaron Rodgers has to have uh, psychedelic flashbacks and has to miss <laughs> Devontae Adams. Um, the Rams have to prove that they're, they're going to miss Andrew Whitworth, Whitworth and yep. Von Miller. So a number of the other teams out there, because as, uh, and I uh, rely on Fox Bet to tell me what is going on. Right now, as it stands, the Dallas Cowboys have the uh, eighth best chance of winning the Super Bowl and the fifth best chance among NFC teams. So they need four teams to fall down in front of them. Could they? Yes. And could all those things happen for the Dallas Cowboys? Yes. But all of those things are going to have to, have, have to happen, happen for the Dallas Cowboys to get to the Super Bowl. We're not talking about the Dallas Cowboys going to the Super Bowl until they win a second playoff game. So they win a first playoff game, actually. I have no they argument. won three <laughs> playoff games in the last 26 years. We are not talking about the Dallas Cowboys going to but the Super Bowl. But we are. I'm not doing it. Y'all doing it. I'm not doing it. The Dallas Cowboys have to make it to the playoffs and then win a playoff game and then win another playoff game before we talk about them as Super Bowl contenders. We do this every single year. I told you I got completely wasted off Cowboys Kool-Aid last year. I am still hungover. I am not doing it again. Yes, they have lots of players that I love. They have lots of things about the Cowboys that I love. But you have to put it together. Winning your division in the NFC East is not what you are aiming for. That does not make you a contender. Is the NFC lighter than we have seen it in years past? Sure. Diet plan. Sure. You've got, I don't know, the Super Bowl winning Rams and the NFC who doesn't seem like they're taking a step back in any way. I understand yeah, how difficult it is to repeat. Did, did Rams, they? Rams lost a lot of pieces. Mm, all right, this is Cowboys topic. Rams, Rams are going to be okay. They're, um, they're going to be pretty good. So I think so. I think the, I think the Rams are going to be all right. Cardinals, yep. okay, they got the contract done, right? That's yeah. the, that, that aside, I feel like the Cardinals will be all right as well. You still have the Niners, obviously a rookie contract, but a rookie uh, quarterback. Packers, back to back MVP. Some people feel like the Vikings will be better. You've got Philly in your own division. Are they lighter? Sure. 
But the Cowboys have done absolutely nothing to earn the respect of being talked about as a Super Bowl contender. Absolutely nothing. That's fair, but as I look at it, and y'all know me, I'm an Eagles guy. The Eagles cut me significantly more money than the Cowboys. <laughs> well, the Cowboys did pay me a little something something when me and Hellman used to work together. Don't you um, get your start, man? Come that on. is, that is. I never forget where I came from. I was born and raised in Dallas. 214 is still the area code. That's why I will say this. The Bengals, Joy, they didn't have a history of winning and they found themselves in the Super Bowl. What did the Bengals have? They had a great quarterback, and what did the Bengals have? They had a brilliant offensive mind. I don't think the Cowboys head coach is a brilliant offensive mind by no means. Y'all know how I feel about Mike McCarthy? I'll talk more about that later. But Kellen Moore, I do think Kellen Moore is a brilliant offensive mind. I'm not in love with Dak Prescott. I know you are a Dak Prescott apologist. You are. I don't love him. However, I do think that it's not just about how good the Cowboys can be. How bad can the NFC be? Mm. Trey Lance, I'm not a believer until he makes me a believer. Kyler Murray, I'm not a believer until he makes me a believer. Aaron Rodgers without Devontae Adams, he has to make me a believer. I'm with Joy Taylor, though. The Rams, I do think, are good. I'm just banking on the statistical probability that you haven't seen a repeat champion in 20 years. But I do believe the Rams are good. If not now for the Cowboys, though, Joy, then when? But what have the Cowboys done to make to earn That's my that thing. from you? That, I, you I feel the same way. You all these other teams. What have the Cowboys done? <sighs> and, You're not going to get another glowing and, introduction, and, by the way. And, <laughs> clearly, yeah, I know, right? For that matter, we weren't talking about the Bengals and 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 them making it to the Super Bowl we after weren't. this year. We weren't. So that wasn't the conversation. We're just going to pick random teams that might but make it to can, the Super Bowl. We can do can that. that. But the Cowboys have earned nothing in this space. But you can take that both ways. Because we weren't talking about the Bengals and they stepped up and ended up going there, that opens the door for if everything goes right with the Dallas Cowboys. Much of the, everything went right for the Cincinnati Bengals last year. Mm -hmm. And I am with you. The reason I stumbled as much as I did because it's uncomfortable for me to be talking this glowingly about the Dallas Cowboys and their, <laughs> Get their it out. chances to Get go it out. all the way. I can't say it. But that said, there is... Because of the NFC and the way it is, there is a path. Like, I can make an argument how they could potentially get there. Yeah, no, no, no. There is a path. Like, there's a way. But I could make an argument for lots of teams on why, how, if everything fell the right way and the wind was blowing this way and the shade was just right, mm -hmm. that we captured the perfect picture that they could walk through the tunnel into, you know, Narya. You, you make an interesting point, too, Rick, which is, like, what did the Bengals do last year? They snuck up on everybody. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and Cowboy fans, I am talking to you. I'm sorry. Your team's never going to sneak up on anybody because you have disappointed in the playoffs last year and we're leading a national TV show talking about it. Like, this would have <laughs> never happened. It's, it's the Dallas Cowboys. They cannot sneak up on people. They don't get the grace of figuring things out for six weeks because the minute they're two and three, the, the, we're on Mike McCarthy's fired watch here on national TV. That's how it works with this team. I think that works against them. So yeah, there's a path. There's absolutely a path. They are one of the three or four best teams in the NFC. Is that enough? That part. Especially with the scrutiny. That part. But let's focus in on that for one final second. Super Bowls are won and lost by quarterbacks, by quarterback-coach combinations, not just quarterbacks. Look at Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, greatest quarterback-coach competition. They have the most Super Bowls. Russell Wilson, Pete Carroll, great quarterback-coach competition. They went to a couple Super Bowls. Matthew Stafford, Sean McGray, great quarterback-coach competition, Super Bowl. Dak Prescott, allegedly a great quarterback at minimum, a good quarterback. Mike McCarthy, allegedly a great coach. At minimum, a Super Bowl coach. Jerry Jones, allegedly a great owner. At minimum, a Super Bowl winning owner. So where I stand is, if the Cowboys have one of the greatest coach-quarterback combinations in the NFC, I just don't get joy how you can discount them with such ease. I don't know, 26 years? Last year's playoff loss with Dak running up the middle with no timeouts. That part, because I watched it, because I have watched it, because they have had no evidence of being able to take the next step in the postseason. I don't have a question if they have talent. I don't have a question if they have potential. I love Dak Prescott. I have some, some questions about their team like I do everybody else. I'm not saying there isn't a chance they will make it to the Super Bowl, by the way. We didn't say win the Super Bowl, make it to the Super Bowl, which for the Dallas Cowboys Getting there would be, be a the start, exact right? Same thing. Yeah. I just am not going to – there is a clear path. For that matter, I don't think there's a clear path for any team in the league to make it to the Super Bowl. 
everything has to fall your way. You have to be healthy at the end of the year. You have to win big games and big moments. You have to get good calls. There's a lot of luck involved in this, as we know. So nobody has a clear path, certainly not the Dallas Cowboys. Dave? I think you make a, a phenomenal point, Manny, which is that they have the talent. And they paid Dak Prescott $40 million. That's honestly what I think the Cowboys are doing right now is they're saying, we made you one of the highest paid guys in the league. It's on you to get us there. And that's, I said it, uh, I did Colin Cowherd's show, humble brag real quick. I said, mm -hmm. that's, what they're, that's what they're doing. They're saying, if you're as good as we paid you to be, it's on you to elevate your game and carry us further than the rest of this roster suggests. It's possible. It's possible. I think we're going to know a lot about just how good Dak Prescott is by the end of this year. Because if this happens, it'll be because this guy leveled up and started playing like Aaron Rodgers. <laughs>